Well, hi there, it's Sandy Alnock, and I have a little project that I'm going to show you. This piece of paper represents a giant sheet of watercolor paper. And you fold the paper in half and fold it back and forth, depending on how thick the watercolor paper is. You'll fold it back and forth a bunch of times and crease it. You can use a bone folder, etc. I can use my fingernail since this is just a piece of copier paper. But out of one big sheet, a full giant sheet of watercolor paper, I have gotten four of these little strips. So I'm going to tear this one in half at first, and then I'm going to fold that one again and tear it in half and then fold it down, which is what the ladies in Bible study that I'm going to be teaching starting this week are going to be doing. They're going to make a journal that's going to go along with the five weeks of teaching that I'll be doing for this class. And it's called She Said, He Said. And it's all about replacing the things that we say in our own heads with the things that God says in his word. And here we have the very, very teeny tiny zigzag journal made out of a long strip of paper. You can do this out of any sheet of paper and you can make a little teeny tiny journal like this. You can make a big one like we're going to be doing. You can fold it any which way, decide which side should be the cover. Do you want it to open with the cover folded one direction or the other? All different kinds of things that you can come up with to do it your own way. But this is what the paper is that these students are going to be working with. And I'm giving them each a dot card. Thank you to Daniel Smith for that. And then I thought I'd show a couple of brushes. I'm not going to be able to give them brushes for this, but they can actually go get these. This one is a an aqua brush or a water brush. And you put water into the handle, you squeeze it, and things come out the other end. The water and the paint and everything can be painted with that. And I was looking for inexpensive options. These two are brushes that I just picked up at Hobby Lobby. And they're from this brand, I've never heard of them, called Master's Touch. They're not great brushes, but if you like to do big backgrounds in your Bible journaling and you're not really planning on doing a whole lot else, these are great brushes. I got a 22 and a 12. And the 12 was, I believe, $7.49 and I got it for 50% off. So it's not a bad brush. The 22 was, I think, $17, and I got it for 50% off on a sale. So if you watch carefully, you will actually find sales that you can take advantage of to get yourself a big brush. Because look at the big strokes something like this can make, as opposed to the teeny tiny brushes that you get with those little teeny tiny watercolor sets that a lot of folks use. And then you wonder, like, well, why am I getting all this these little teeny tiny strokes and I can't get any blending going? Well, that would be why. A big brush is just going to make a big difference. And this one is dirt cheap. So I will just put that out there for you. I would never use this really in my kind of better quality watercoloring. But for something like this, it's going to be perfectly fine. And I wanted something for my students that is going to be a really good starter brush if they just want to do something and they don't want to steal brushes from their kids from their little watercolor sets. Now this water brush you can also squeeze it so I'm just kind of squeezing out drops of water onto this because I wanted to make a pattern with water droplets on it and each week during the the whole Bible study thing I'm making a little video to show them a background that they can do on this watercolor paper you can do similar things in your Bible journaling techniques will be a little bit different because it's different paper but basically the same kind of thing will work and I let it sit on there and then dabbed it off. Now mine got really splotchy because I waited a little too long. I waited for it to be too dry before dropping the water in. But this journal that I'm showing you here on YouTube is not the journal they're going to be doing in the class. But I wanted to give them other options. So I've made a couple of different versions of the main journal because I want the students in that they're not artists, they're not coming to this because they're artists or that they want to learn how to paint, but I wanted to give them something they could be successful at wherever they're at artistically. And if there's anybody in that class who likes to doodle, I'm hoping I can point them to this and they can go, oh, I could do that. I will also show them physically the example of this particular journal because at the time I'm filming this, it's completed. But what I'm doing here is taking that, whatever background I'm doing, and I'll do that for the next five weeks here on YouTube, I, I'm following along the watercolor and tracing those hard edges that are created by the watercolor with a Sharpie pen. 
And then just filling in some spots in between, making little shapes, making little lines, and just creating something that looks kind of cool and pretty. And it it's rather mindless, which is kind of fun. I like mindless things because my mind is reeling on too much other stuff. But this allows me to take some time after reading the scripture to just sit and doodle. So after I get the painting all done and get all that, you know, busy drying, I sit down and reread the scripture that I'm going to be journaling. In this particular case, this is the cover for the book. And it's just one idea and there's going to be all different kinds of things throughout these next couple of weeks that I'll share with you. So there's no specific scripture for this, but it started really looking like clouds. And I thought that would be a really good start for this, just kind of thinking heavenly and thinking of God and that sort of thing might be fun for the cover. And I didn't know that's what it was going to come out like when I started doing this. I just started doodling. The other thing that I decided to do for this online version of this, each week I'll give you a short synopsis of kind of the idea that's going on in the lessons that I'm doing. But this journal is going to be a thank you journal that is going to go along with the same lessons. The students in that in those lessons, after hearing me teach on a particular topic, are going to be prompted to think about other things that God is working on in their lives, etc. But I thought one approach to making a journal from a Bible study like this could be a thank you journal. And in this, I'm going to do personal journaling in the empty spaces in some of this doodly area that you'll see throughout the next couple of weeks that is thanking God for what I have learned or what he's done for me, how he's made me, all those kind of things. And that's why I thought this would be a good thing to do here on YouTube because you can make a thank you journal of your own on whatever topics that you want to do. And I'm just going to show you a couple of different watercolor techniques and you can watch me doodle and we can have a chit chat and that sort of thing. And this also gives the students in my Bible study another option to see a different way to approach making a journal if they're scared by some of the other things because I've showed them from very beginner techniques just taking the backgrounds and just write the scripture on it and that's it to making something that's carefully drawn and you're drawing pictures and all kinds of stuff or something like this where you're just doodling. I want everybody to feel successful and to be able to accomplish something in this in this Bible study. So kind of excited to get started. Be praying for these women who are going to be coming to this. It's taught over a couple of days and there could be, from what I gather, close to 100 people between the two days of the study. It'll be a Wednesday and a Thursday. So I'm a little freaked out, but I'm trusting God because he's got this. He's the one who's setting it all up. He's the one who gave me the lessons and everything. So I'm just going to hang on to his coattails and go for a fabulous ride. So I will see you again next week with a little bit more on this journal and another idea for you. So if you want to fold one of these and start one yourself, please feel free to join me and I will see you guys later. Bye.